Hi everyone, I hope you're doing great today. Okay, so this is one of those emergency broadcasts that I often put out there and as always, I'm going to plead with you. As soon as you see this video, please do me a favor, share it as widely as you possibly can, okay? Okay, so um, yesterday, I heard the news that the Ghanaian president, Nana Akufuado, has been re-elected. I was happy, but I was cautiously happy about that. I just kind of swallowed hard and said, wow, thank God, especially given that I had clearly stated that this was going to happen. Uh, I spoke about it. I made a video about it. I was attacked. In fact, I'm going to attach the video at the end of this one for people to see. Um, so many people were attacking me for, you know, because they, they said it, there was no reason why Nana should come back. But I didn't have to say what I have to say to please anybody. I didn't have to say anything uh, because I felt that people were not going to attack me or that they were going to attack me. No, I just, I just say stuff when I see them. Honestly, I'm not a prophet. I'm just a guy who sees stuff and he says stuff, right? So I saw stuff and I said it. I was sitting right here on this chair behind my desk and I had an open vision. And I didn't have to consult with anybody to share my open vision. I just said it as it came to me. And thank God it came to pass. But then I got this feeling that it's not yet over. And I could not make any post to say congratulations to His Excellency. Not anywhere on my social media handles. Until this morning. I was in my room. And something very, very startling happened. And this is why I am making this video. I heard a group of people in an enclosure. And they were talking really loud. And the energy in that place is very, very intense and chaotic. And they were saying that, no, we cannot continue to just carry on with this image of Ghana is a peaceful country. Or we had a peaceful elections. We need to throw that away right now. We have to overturn everything. We have to make this country ungovernable for him. This man cannot be our president. No, this is not going to happen. I heard this loud and clear. In an enclosure, I froze, like I literally froze listening to these voices and they went on and on and on and on. They are deliberating, they are planning. They say, no, we need to do this, we need to do that. There has to be chaos. He can't just get away with it. This, I was hearing these voices and I had goosebumps on my body. And I said, oh, wow, so this is why God gave me the type of feeling that I had when I heard the news that Nana had won. I couldn't get very excited like it's over. I got this feeling, this sense just overwhelmed me that it is not yet over. And now God has confirmed it by this vision and this revelation that he just gave me about the plans to bring monster mega chaos to God. This is real. What I'm telling you, I mean, I'm the guy, I'm not a prophet like I always say, but I'm that guy who has said a lot about Anna Kufuado and nearly everything I've told you about this man has come to pass. I'm telling you right now, I heard this voice. I don't make anything up. And the reason is because I'm not doing what I do because I'm paid to do it or because I want to impress anybody or because I'm coerced by anybody. No! I do this because it's impressed on me to do and I have to do it. This is what is being planned right now. They want to throw away the whole thing that we know Ghana for. And if you think that this is not possible, that it's not going to happen to Ghana. You only need to look in the direction of the United States of America. USA, the number one when it comes to peace, when it comes to decorum, when it comes to decency. The same USA in 2020 experienced the type of riots and chaos that you won't even find in war-torn 
third world countries. It happened in America because this is 2020. And then, to make matters worse, an election that took place on November the 3rd in America. It is more than a month now. We still don't have a clear winner out of that election. This is 2020. A lot of things are changing because our world is changing. The times in which we live today are very strange times. And so many things are happening. Nations that were once known for decorum, for decency, for serenity, for peace, are suddenly becoming very accustomed to chaos and disasters and all kinds of riots and stuff that nobody ever thought would happen in those nations. And I want to tell you today, Ghana is not an exception. This is why I was troubled when God gave me that revelation. I mean, you spoke about something, it came to pass, you should be like, yes, I told you guys it has happened, but that's not what I feel. What I feel is a burden. It's a weight, heavy weight on my chest. And this is why I want to appeal to the prayer warriors around the prospect. When the other video came out, you guys wrote me, some of them wrote me and said, we are the ones praying with the prize then, and we are going to act accordingly. And I want to applaud all of you. Thank you. God bless you for acting accordingly. But may I tell you today that your work is not done yet. It is not yet over. Remember in that video, I said very clearly, as God was doing this, and saying to Nana, come, leave the special interests. They are a distraction. Come to me. I said it that when he makes them move and God moves him across the line and gives him the victory, that the special interests are going to rise up from every corner to fight him. So let me say this to you guys today. Nana Akufa do second term in office will become almost like what Donald Trump's presidency had been in terms of the attacks he had received even from the day he declared his intention to run. There will be attacks from almost every corner and it's going to be back to back to back to back. But according to what I have said in the other video, he will always win. I mean win big. But the attacks will never stop. Because in his second term in office, the Nana that is coming to rule Ghana now is a totally different Nana Akufuado. If you are watching this video, Please print what I'm saying, write it down, put it where you save your stuff, and hold me accountable for what I'm saying to you today. That's how confident I am in what I'm saying to you. He's a totally different guy, not because the complexion of Nana will change, not because his name is going to change, not because he will not become thinner and taller, no. The thing is that the mandate that he's going to use to rule this time is the one that God has dropped from heaven and nearly every person in Ghana who had disagreed with him, who had hated him, who had wanted him not to return, almost every person would come to love him and agree with him. In fact, people would begin to go to church to give thanksgiving to God that Nana came back for his second time in office. I'm telling you what I know. I don't just talk. This man is going to be a blessing to not just Ghana, but to the rest of Africa. All the weights that were pulling on him and moving him in this direction and that direction, all the confusions and stuff like that, all of that have now been left behind. Nana is right here now to walk and work with an entirely different divine mandate. Remember today's date. 
Remember this video. Make sure that you make reference to this video in the next one to two years. In fact, what I'm seeing is that by six months, six months into his second term in office, Ghanaians will begin to pour home because of the quality of leadership that Nana is going to be dishing out. It will be one of those rare occasions in Ghana where a president can now easily unite everybody regardless of what their political affiliations may be. That moment is what we've just walked into. It is a bit difficult to see it now because many people are still hurting from the fact that Nana has been declared the winner and they have the right to hurt. They have the right to disagree with Nana. They have the right to say this man is not good enough. They have the right to say no, he shouldn't come back. But what I don't think you have the right to do is to destroy Ghana and destroy the peace that Ghana is known for. Don't let anybody use you. Wait for the next six months or one year into his second term in office. If what I'm telling you doesn't happen, hold me accountable. You have access to my social media handles. Hold me accountable. This man is coming with an entirely new and transformational mandate. Give him the benefit of the doubt and watch what happens next. You know what I think you should even be getting ready to do is to fight with him because he will be fought. He will be fought. Nana will be fought from every corner. You will see it with your eyes. That's where you will know that I don't play. You will see. The man will face battles that are a billion times more than what he's ever faced even during his first term in office. And he's going to be needing you to fight with him because everything he's going to be doing is going to be for you. It's almost like Donald Trump saying America first. That's what you're about to see in Ghana during his second term in office. Ghana first. People's president. You will see it with your eyes. That's why you should not allow anybody to use you. The prayer warriors get to work. Get on your knees. It is not yet over. Take my words for it. It is not yet over. They are planning a monster, mega chaos in Ghana. Huge one. And they want it to be nationwide. And that chaos, if it happens, because it will not have the special grace of God, will never allow Ghana to rise up again. It is huge what I saw. And they have a lot of backers. These people who are doing this thing, they are in this enclosure saying these things. I plead with you, please, let's not destroy Ghana. Let's not destroy Ghana. Please, the rest of us, on the continent of Africa, we make a lot of boasts with Ghana. We talk about Ghana with so much pride, with so much joy that we have a nation like Ghana on our continent. Please don't destroy that. If you are an MPP person and you are right now celebrating, be mindful of your brothers in the opposition. Be mindful of the sentiment and the emotions of your brothers and sisters in the opposition. It is very, very important that you do that. Yes, victory has been declared, but there's so much more than just declaring the victory. I wish someone was there to hear how angry these people were when they were talking about how they want to turn Ghana upside down and destroy everything and make it ungovernable for Ghana, for Nanako Ford. Let's be mindful of these things and pray more. On that note, I want to say again a very big congratulations to His Excellency Nana Kufuadu. And I want to also congratulate Ghanaians for the manner in which they have conducted themselves so far. Praying that the Lord will continue to give you the grace to make sure that you maintain the peace that we've always known Ghana for. 
And I want to say may God bless you all. And may God bless the beautiful republic of Ghana. So what God is saying is, when he was doing hand like this, he's saying, Nana, walk away from that circle of confusion where you have to be nice to everybody. You're trying to be good to this one. You're trying to be good to this one. You just don't want to be called a bad name. You don't want to be called, oh, he is just so different. No. God says, walk away and don't be afraid because there's so much fear. The reason he is in the middle is because it is customary. It is tradition that anybody who comes to that seat of power must pay attention to this altar here and that altar here. And God is saying, look, even if you don't pay attention to them, if you can only walk up to where I am and I grab you, these people will not do you anything. Because there's so much fear that if he walks away from where he is now, that they will actually crumble him, they will destroy him. And I see the Lord saying, Nana, come to me. If you come to me, they will not be able to do anything to you. They will fight you, but you will win. You will have victory. And looking a little further, I was checking, I found out that when he actually walks up to God, that God is going to give Nana a very supersonic victory on the election day. And when that victory happens, these two altars are going to rise up to fight him. Every Ghanaian, anywhere they are on earth in this world, they will get to know him. In fact, even people who are not Ghanaians are going to know about the fight. They are going to fight him dirty. His second term in office is going to be marred with so much fight. But guess what? Every step of the way, he will be scoring very huge, humongous victories. Because then, the Ghanaian people, even people who never liked him, even people who disagree with him on everything, all of them are going to stream towards him. They are going to support him to be, to be able to fight against these forces that are almost like ancestral to that seat of power in Ghana. Anybody who comes there must be loyal to them. Anybody who comes there, it's like a tradition. And God said, I want you to walk away from that tradition of showing allegiance to these two altars. I will hold you. And so this is what gave me the boldness to now say clearly that God actually wants Nana Akufuado to come back. And I said this in all sincerity. I know a lot of people will look at this and say, oh, but he's always loved Nana Akufuado. All this one he's saying, he's just talking because he loves Nana. To be very honest with you, that's why I said earlier, I decided I would never say anything until I hear directly from the Lord. God wants that man to come back. I don't hate the opposition in Ghana. I don't even know who and who is part of the opposition in Ghana. I am an African. I have the right to talk about any country on the continent of Africa as a bona fide child of Africa. But beyond that, I don't have too much information on what is going on there in Ghana. And so I am pleading with you. I'm not trying to take sides. Nana has not paid me to do this. Nobody pays me to say or do anything if you know me very well. I am saying this because I heard clearly from the Lord that God is standing by saying, come to me. If, if that does not mean that God wants to do something new with Nana Kufuado in the second term, I don't know what else to tell you. That's exactly what I saw. 